Good evening, love, and good evening, light illuminators and way showers. Thank you for being with me, Wendy, as we share the infinite languages of love and the languages of light. It has been, once again, a most incredible 24 hours. I can't begin to thank all of you um, for the synchronicities. I, I woke up this morning just... <clears throat> as bright self the moon said tired but yet refreshed and it was I knew that we were together that we have been busy that <laughs> we've been playing and conversing in the astral and from the very beginning uh from the very moment I woke up this morning I was just hearing feeling really um gratitude from our celestial friends for all of us just following our instincts and being present and trusting and how much doing that has brought us together these last few days weeks especially the interactions that i've had all day today thank you all again it's been a <laughs> it's just just been such a tremendous day interacting with you privately, personally, um, reflecting on all these moments. From the moment I woke up this morning, I, I was receiving all of these images and visions of all of us together and the work that we're all going to be doing together. And all day long was another explosion of connections because of all these, in, uh, these, these synchronicities. And I was guided to... <laughs> Uh, send a note to a friend of mine who lives all the way across the world and in Europe and asked her where she lived in proximity to another person that I just met across the world. And it just so, and because I saw this vision of them working together, um, light workers. And so it just so happened that they live about three hours apart from one another and that she was actually going to be in that town coming up on Friday. And, and it just so happens they're going to meet and they've already spoken and introduced themselves. And so it was now had I hesitated and, and not said anything or judged it or worried, um, you know, or for whatever reason, just not done it right then and there. And I did, I mean, I sent the message probably like, like first thing this morning. And so what an incredible interaction that happened. Um, and, and the result that's going to come of that. And so it's kind of which came first, the chicken or the egg, but the idea is to follow your instincts because it doesn't really matter. Did I see it because it's already happened? Well, everything is already happening. And so the answer is yes, of course, to that too. Um, or is, <clears throat> or are these interactions going to take place in the future because I followed my instincts and now they're going to meet one another. But if everything's all at once, this is where it gets really fun. <laughs> um, so regardless the idea is to follow our instincts. And I was in this animal energy all day. The, the animal instincts, the idea of animals following their instincts. And I had to laugh because I've been in this Lyran energy too for the last day. And so, muha is, um, hello in Lyran and <clears throat> a, a way of greeting. And so I've been having a lot of downloads about Lyrans. Um, and thank you all for the messages that you've been sending me about downloads and wanting to connect and interact. And absolutely, this is just very exciting. Uh, all of it is phenomenally exciting for me. Um, and so I was feeling this idea of animal instincts and the Lyran energy I've been feeling. And we we're even talking about cats today. So that was kind of interesting. And I then came across a couple of things on the internet about uh, um, Lyran information about Lyrans in, in actually the last like 
24 or 40 hours. And today I was actually guided to wear, I like to call them my, my Lyran leggings because they're, <laughs> um, <clears throat> when I, they're actually kind of old. And so I remember when I first started connecting with the Lyrans and then I would, I would, <laughs> I would wear, it was as if I would wear these because I wanted to connect with them or it was as if I was guided to wear them and then I would connect with them. It was so again, which came first, you know? And so I was wearing these today and I was feeling this brown, uh, kind of brown energy, earth energy, animal energy, instinct energy, connecting with the earth and the animal, uh, the animal kingdoms and following their guidance. And I was doing yoga and, and feeling that, <clears throat> When, when we're in tune with our bodies and we're being one and we're connecting and we're speaking to it, yoga really is more about, I find myself actually having to not get distracted even when I'm doing yoga because I start to get downloads and information and I want to make notes and things I want to share with you guys. And so I get all this stuff and I think I know that that's part of what yoga is about. It's not just about what it does to your body, but yes, it can make you feel lean and long and strong and, and felt like a feline, um, and quiet, that quiet strength, um, that comes, that comes from that. But really for me, yoga is about being present and staying present with, with your body paying a t paying attention to your body and the self care that that um that animals give themselves instinctively so are my cup of inspiration so i've even got my spots today <laughs> so how's that i've got leopard spots and and um cat prints and <laughs> so here's to our our Lyran friends <laughs> Say you gun who moon, I a ingi a ho ho who emo, I a no, I a inky over a he and I you a hoqua in a you a hoqua And I was just saying hello to to Kerr, our beautiful Lyran friend from the colonies and uh, Gurk McNear. Oh, homo, oh, no, can you say you know, you know. And to remind everybody that there are many, many different types of beings from the Syrian Sirius star system that I'm frequently connecting with the Lyran Syrian Council. Uh, I was actually remembered it um, today. I was reminded in a conversation about when I first, one of the first times I connected with them and how emotional it was and how powerful, absolutely powerful it was. And I heard loud and clear, uh, hello and they addressed me and very and they were very soft and stern and um very strong feeling and i was uh, yeah i feel it now even and they said you know hello we are the lyran syrian council and we have come to and then they went into this long conversation with me and i stood i was actually standing right in front of this mirror actually <laughs> but with my eyes closed i was in the middle of doing something and all of a sudden they came to me and i was just went into this complete outer communication with them. And it was really quite, quite, quite powerful. And I found myself just being tearful and breathless and feeling this just strong energy and opening my eyes and standing there in front of this mirror thinking, wow, did that really just happen? And I was reminded today as I'm doing yoga how animals follow their instincts they spend their time caring for themselves following always always following their instincts never deviating from that caring for their bodies paying attention paying attention to their young, playing with them. Um, they do not question their instincts. No animal questions their own instincts. 
ni a undi a so ungu a pahu ko a ni te ko ono wa ashana e wa ko a pa undu sa po ora ho. And they eat when they're hungry. They they know when they need to know what they need to know and when they need to do what they need to do. They they travel. They live by instinct. They they do not fear, but yet they they by following their instincts. Their fear reactors kick in right when they need to, yet they do not fear unnecessarily. They sleep when they're tired, and they sleep as long as they need to <clears throat> when they're tired. They rely on their instincts. They rely on their acute. And I was I was just hearing now that not not all animals, of course, have the same acute instincts. And in but but yet, each one has their own gifts and abilities that allow them to adapt to a particular environment and use the the gifts that they were given or that they have evolved to a, a, a to allow themselves to interact and live instinctively within that environment. And so we are being invited to, just like our dogs, uh, our dogs, I say my dogs, our, our, and our cats, first thing they do in the morning or whenever, actually whenever they wake up and stand up, they stretch every single time, almost without fail. Um, so we should, we need to take our cues from our animal kingdoms and the archetypes and how many of us relate to all of these different archetypes because we are a piece, a part of every single archetype. 